Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be talking about Flux Upscaler, which was released recently by Jasper AI. This model allows you to upscale your images using control net and obtain good quality of images without changing the color the details of the original ones. So today I will guide you through the installation steps and show you how you can use my workflow in order to upscale your images using this Flux model. If you head over the Jasper AI website, on the hugging face you can see some example of this model and what he can do and here you can clearly see that it can denoise images while upscaling them and it is said that this model was trained with the synthetic complex data degradation scheme taking input taking as input a real life images and artificially degrading so this model was trained by uh, intentionally degraded images in order to obtain uh, good quality for the final results so let me show you how you can install install it and use it using my workflow first of all you need to download the flux model here you can find every every useful link under my description or you can just grab it here on my workflow okay make sure that, that you download this diffusion pytorch model then once it is done go to your comfy y root folder under comfy y on model search for control net and paste it here make sure to rename it in order for you to use it more easily for my case i rename it flux upscaler control net then it is said that you can use flux development model for this control net however for my case i use this flux goof model which is more faster and consumes less vram so to do that you can also use this link and found different models for my case, I always worked with the Q4KS version, which is more faster and more stable according to my test. But you can choose other version of the Goof model. It can give you a different result from mine because it is related to your PC configuration. But to use those model, you need to install this ConfiY Goof nodes in order to load it. To do that, just copy the code, go to your ConfiY root folder search for custom nodes here on the search bar type in cmd type in git clone paste your code here and click enter once it is done go back to the github uh, website just copy this python into the txt code then go to comfy y windows portable here type in cmd and just pass your code it should automatically install everything every requirements for you once it is done you have also to install the wd tiger which is gonna allows you to generate prompt automatically to do that do the same thing copy the code go to comfy y here search for custom notes we're gonna do the same thing hit clone and pass our code here then once it is installed just enter this website again copy the pip install requirements code search for the wd tagger here it is under the file and type in cmd again now make sure to paste your code here and click enter this way you're gonna install all the necessary requirements for these nodes to work okay good now that we have everything that we need let's dive into the workflow okay when you open up comfy y Make sure to go to Car Manager, then click Update Comfy UI. Once it is done, restart it, and you can grab my workflow to use it directly. Once you load this workflow, you can clearly see that it is one main group. However, this main group is divided into two parts. The first part is related to the Flux models and files. Here you, we use the unit loader for in order to load the Goof model. This was combined with the LoRa Realism using the LoRa loader nodes. Then we have our classic dual clip loader. Make sure that you select the clip L and the T5XXL version. And don't forget to change the type to flux. This clip is plugged here into clip text encode negative and positive. However, here we add WD tagger in order to generate a prompt automatically without you doing anything. To do that, I just use, use this clip text encode then plug the string into the text if you don't know how to do that i will show you this in a minute once you have your clip text make sure to use the right click then convert widget to input once it is 
selected you can grab the string here and plug it into the text this way you, you can use this automatic generated prompt instead of yours then those nodes are directly plugged here into classic control net uh, nodes and those nodes uh, will replace our classic key sampler we have the sampler name to select it to Euler, the scheduler to sampler uh, the simple here for the steps make sure to select the minimum step of, of 28 and the denoise value of one after that we have all those data is going to be plugged into sampler custom advanced in order to generate the final image we also add a model sampling flux this notes is gonna be used in order to obtain the width and the high resolution of the image and for this second group we have our load image where we're gonna load our low resolution image we have the control net uh, nodes related nodes and here for the control net model don't forget to select your uh, downloaded model i rename it flux upscaler control net i also plugged in the classic flux VA vae file and we have the positive and the negative clip text for the control net okay here i saw a different video about uh, flux uh, upscaling uh, control net that used different nodes uh, compared to this imagery size you can clearly use an upscale image in order to upscale this lower resolution image or you can use another node called upscale image by where you can choose the the scale or the, the upscaled factor of your image however according to my test i found that this imagery size give me the best results and it is less vram consuming here let me show you my parameters i selected a height and width resolution of 1024 by 1024 for the interpolation make sure to select the nearest and the main key here is to, to select the key proportion as a method in order for you to upscale any type of images while keeping the proportions this way you can update good and consistent results once it is done the data is going to be decoded here using this vae decode then i also add an image comparer from rg3 nodes in order to compare between both uh, results here we have our low resolution and here you can clearly see our high resolution images it is clearly more impressive and uh, more consistent by the way if you don't have this image comparer you can just just uh, grab my workflow load it here then go to confui manager and install missing custom nodes once it is installed make sure to restart uh, the confui and it should work properly i also plugged here the safe image in order to have a copy of my images okay that's it for uh, this workflow let me show you now my results using this flux upscaler here you can notice the quality of the upscaled images and the consistency of the final results we can you can also notice that when we selected this skip proportion method that the final version we could preserve the proportion of the input images however let me give you here some tricks in order to obtain good results i noticed when i play with the strength of the control net i obtain different results however in in some cases increasing the strength of the control net doesn't give you good results for example here for this tiger images i used a value of 0 0.6 which is perfect for uh, obtaining good details so if you have a close-up image make sure that you have this strength value but for some images when we have a full body or uh, other details or other type of images i noticed that changing the strength value between 0.6 and 1 can give you different and good results so it, it's gonna depend on your taste and on what image you want to upscale now let me talk to you about the downside of using this method for upscaling here if you zoom out on my on this image you can notice that we have a low resolution image you can here see the resolution it is quite low and the final results is 1024 by 1024 however if you want to upscale your images more than that you can do it with this uh, upscaler flux upscaler so i try to use this image i save it then i try to load it here and try to change the resolution on this image resize i obtained the same results and the resolution did not change so from that i can assume that this flux upscaler only allows you to upscale your images into a certain uh, resolution and doesn't allow you to do it more than 1024 however maybe there is other methods uh, to do that using this workflow but if you want to 
upscale more your images there are different methods starting with the ultimate sd upscale where you can uh, use this uh, image directly and upscale your images according to your needs i also made a video tutorial about how you can upscale your images using sdxl models it should also work good for you so if you wanna do if you wanna have more resolution i strongly suggest you to watch this video okay that's it for today's tutorial if you like this video please push the like button for me subscribe to my channel leave me some comments down below and don't forget to watch my other videos